We're here at Benedict Academy. And your name, sir? Uh, Kenneth Jennings, principal at Benedictine Academy. Okay. Uh, so, how long has this uh, rain garden been here now? It's been here now uh, a year, um, a little bit over a year, and uh, it's been a you know both a, a teaching tool for our students and uh, also just something an opportunity for a lot of students and even uh, families, parents, neighbors, community members to uh, come by and take a look at, examine, and uh, learn. And uh, we're really excited about even the possibilities for this year because we have even added a environmental science course to our curriculum, and uh, one of the goals uh, of that program is to be able to to utilize this because we also see. <laughs> There's a lot of different little animals going through, and so it's a, it's a really exciting learning adventure. Uh, any other positives that this rain garden has created? Well, I think just in terms of the over, overall environmental space here at the school, you know, I think uh, one of the things is we're, our nickname is the Green Bees, and we're, we're always conscious that we've really tried to raise the consciousness of our students about uh, going green, being green, and, you know, certainly uh, through FCI and the Estuary Day, Earth Day, uh, it helps us to, you know, to remind ourselves to be better stewards of the earth, and I think, you know, just having this garden here is a reminder of that importance and seeing, you know, all the, the animals, the various things that depend on it, but I, I think for our students as well to take care of it, uh, to be able to nurture it, I think are important uh, learning goals as well and how to take care of it. You know, so I, I think it has a lot of implications for for the students. It's a, it's kind of like a teaching garden. You know, so that's good. Uh, any negatives at all? I, I don't think there's any negative in, involved in it at all. I mean, you know, it's it's obviously environmental friendly, environmentally friendly, and it's a it's a uh, it's a, just it's a it's really wonderful. And, and you know, you, as I said, you see, you know, some of the rabbits and various other uh, little animals coming around. And uh, uh, as I mentioned, Mr. Randall, our uh, teacher for biology and environmental science, uh, has taken the students out here to kind of take a look around and examine. And uh, and certainly he wants to fully utilize it even more this year as a teaching tool. It was our first year, just kind of making sure we maintain it. This year is really about you know maintaining it by going to the next step and that level and using it as a further pedagogical piece for learning. Okay, that's good. Thank you.